as a pediatric intensivist, the most frequent question I have faced is, when do we bring our child to the emergency? It can be many reasons, medical reasons, surgical reasons, burns or any unknown bites. Today I'm going to talk about medical reasons, the most important ones only. The first being severe breathing difficulty. Let's discuss those symptoms. The child might be having flaring of nostrils. The mother notices that the child is breathing fast compared to previous missing. Then the child might have chest retractions, the child might have suprasternal retractions, the child can have subcostal retractions. Sometimes the mother even notices there is a discoloration in the lips, the blue discoloration of lips. Sometimes the mother also notices the child has noisy breathing. If the child has any of these symptoms, that means that the child has severe breathing difficulty. Kindly bring the child to the hospital at the earliest. The second being, the child might have a decreased conscious level, impaired consciousness, or the child might be drowsy. That the child can be awakened by the mother but goes off to sleep easily. The mother notices the child activity is poor. The third being dehydration. If the child has fever, the child's oral intake can be poor. The child might go into dehydration and also the child can go into dehydration if the child has multiple episodes of vomiting and multiple episodes of loose stools. How do we recognize them? The child has a decreased urine output. That is, in the last six hours or eight hours, the child has not passed urine. That is a sign of dehydration. If the child has a sunken eyes and if the mother notices that the child's lips are very dry, the sunk is very dry, then that can be a sign of dehydration. If the child's uh, or activity, general activity is very less, the child is very lethargic, that can also be a sign of dehydration. Kindly take the child to the doctor immediately. The fourth being seizure. Seizure can be or cannot be associated with fever. The first episode of any seizures and any seizure that is lasting for five minutes and more should be taken immediately to the hospital. And the fifth and the last, that being any high grade fever that the child is having, which is associated with severe headache, vomiting, neck pain, and impaired altered sensory or impaired consciousness. Those all can be signs of severe bacterial brain infection, bacterial or viral brain infection. If the child has any of these above mentioned symptoms, kindly take the child to the hospital immediately. Early action can save life.